Prenatal Development, Wikipedia Article Audio Prenatal development is the process in which an embryo and later fetus develops during gestation. Prenatal development starts with fertilization the first stage in embryogenesis which continues in fetal development until birth. In human pregnancy, prenatal development, also known as antenatal development, is the development of the embryo following fertilization, and continued as fetal development. By the end of the tenth week of gestational age the embryo has acquired its basic form and is referred to as a fetus. The next period is that of fetal development where many organs become fully developed. This fetal period is described both topically and chronologically with major occurrences being listed by gestational age. Definitions of Periods Fertilization In other animals the very early stages of embryogenesis are the same as those in humans. In later stages, development across all taxa of animals and the length of gestation vary. In developed countries and at facilities where expert neonatal care is available, it is considered from 22 completed weeks of gestation to 7 completed days after birth. In many of the developing countries the starting point of this period is considered 28 completed weeks of gestation. In ICD-10, a medical classification list by the WHO, there is a particular chapter relating to certain conditions originating in the perinatal period. When semen is released into the vagina, the spermatozoa travel through the cervix and body of the uterus and into the fallopian tubes. Fertilization of the egg cell, usually takes place in one of the fallopian tubes. Many sperm are released with the possibility of just one sperm cell managing to adhere to and enter the thick protective shell-like layer surrounding the ovum. The first sperm that penetrates fully into the egg donates its genetic material. The egg then polarizes, repelling any additional sperm. The resulting combination is called a zygote, a new and genetically unique organism. The term conception refers variably to either fertilization or to formation of the conceptus after its implantation in the uterus, and this terminology is controversial. Embryonic period Prior to fertilization, each ovum, as a gamete, contains half of the genetic material that will fuse with the male gamete, which carries the other half of the genetic material. The ovum only carries the X female sex chromosome whilst the sperm carries a single sex chromosome of either an X or a male Y chromosome. The resulting human zygote is similar to the majority of somatic cells because it contains two copies of the genome in a diploid set of chromosomes. One set of chromosomes came from the nucleus of the ovum and the second set from the nucleus of the sperm. The zygote is male if the egg is fertilized by a sperm that carries a Y chromosome, and it is female if the egg is fertilized by a sperm that carries an X chromosome. The Y chromosome contains a gene, SRY, which will switch on androgen production at a later stage, leading to the development of a male body type. In contrast, the mitochondrial genetic information of the zygote comes entirely from the mother via the ovum. Changes by weeks of gestation The embryonic period in humans begins at fertilization and continues until the end of the tenth week of gestation. The period of two weeks from fertilization is also referred to as the germinal stage. The embryo spends the next few days traveling down the fallopian tube. It starts out as a single cell zygote and then divides several times to form a ball of cells called a morula. Further cellular division is accompanied by the formation of a small cavity between the cells. This stage is called a blastocyst. Up to this point there is no growth in the overall size of the embryo, 
as it is confined within a glycoprotein shell, known as the zona pellucida. Instead, each division produces successively smaller cells. The blastocyst reaches the uterus at roughly the fifth day after fertilization. It is here that lysis of the zona pellucida occurs. This process is analogous to zona hatching, a term that refers to the emergence of the blastocyst from the zona pellucida, when incubated in vitro. This allows the trough ectoderm cells of the blastocyst to come into contact with, and adhere to, the endometrial cells of the uterus. The trough ectoderm will eventually give rise to extra embryonic structures, such as the placenta and the membranes. The embryo becomes embedded in the endometrium in a process called implantation. In most successful pregnancies, the embryo implants 8 to 10 days after ovulation. The embryo, the extra embryonic membranes, and the placenta are collectively referred to as a conceptus, or the products of conception. Gestational age versus embryonic age Rapid growth occurs and the embryo's main features begin to take form. This process is called differentiation, which produces the varied cell types. A spontaneous abortion, or miscarriage in the first trimester of pregnancy is usually due to major genetic mistakes or abnormalities in the developing embryo. During this critical period, the developing embryo is also susceptible to toxic exposures, such as Week 3 Gestational age is the time that has passed since the onset of the last menstruation, which generally or as standard occurs two weeks before the actual fertilization. Embryonic age, in contrast measures the actual age of the embryo or fetus from the time of fertilization. Nevertheless, menstruation has historically been the only means of estimating embryonal-slash-fetal age, and is still the presumed measure if not else specified. However, the actual duration between last menstruation and fertilization may in fact differ from the standard two weeks by several days. Week 4 Thus, the first week of embryonic age is already week 3 counting with gestational age. Furthermore, the number of the week is one more than the actual age of the embryo slash fetus. For example, the embryo is zero whole weeks old during the first week after fertilization. Week 5 The following table summarizes the various expression systems during week number X of gestation. Gestational age, 2 weeks and 0 days until 2 weeks and 6 days old. 1521 days from last menstruation. Embryonic age Week NR1. 0 weeks old. 1 7 days from fertilization. Gestational age. 3 weeks and 0 days until 3 weeks and 6 days old. 22 28 days from last menstruation. Embryonic age. Week NR2. 1 week old. 8 14 days from fertilization. Week 6 Gestational age, 4 weeks and 0 days until 4 weeks and 6 days old. 2935 days from last menstruation. Week 7 Embryonic age, week NR3. 2 weeks old. 1521 days from fertilization. The antepartum period is literally equivalent to prenatal. Practically, however, antepartum usually refers to the period between the 24th-26th week of gestational age until birth, for example in antepartum hemorrhage. Gestational age, 5 weeks and 0 days until 5 weeks and 6 days old. 
3642 days from last menstruation. Embryonic age, week NR4. 3 weeks old. 2228 days from fertilization. Alcohol, certain drugs, and other toxins that cause birth defects, such as fetal alcohol syndrome, infection, radiation from X-rays or radiation therapy, nutritional deficiencies such as lack of folate which contributes to spina bifida. Gestational age, 6 weeks and 0 days until 6 weeks and 6 days old. 4349 days from last menstruation. Week 8. Week 9. Fetal period. Changes by organ. Embryonic age, week NR5. 4 weeks old. 2935 days from fertilization. Fertilization of the ovum to form a new human organism. The human zygote, the zygote undergoes mitotic cellular divisions, but does not increase in size. This mitosis is also known as cleavage. A hollow cavity forms marking the blastocyst stage, the blastocyst contains only a thin rim of trophoblast cells and a clump of cells at one end known as the embryonic pole which include embryonic stem cells. The embryo hatches from its protein shell and performs implantation onto the endometrial lining of the mother's uterus, if separation into identical twins occurs, one third of the time it will happen before day 5. Gestational age, 7 weeks and 0 days until 7 weeks and 6 days old. 50-56 days from last menstruation. Embryonic age. Week NR6. 5 weeks old. 3642 days from fertilization. Trophoblast cells surrounding the embryonic cells proliferate and invade deeper into the uterine lining. They will eventually form the placenta and embryonic membranes. The blastocyst is fully implanted day 712 of fertilization, formation of the yolk sac. The embryonic cells flatten into a disc, two cells thick, if separation into identical twins occurs, two-thirds of the time it will happen between days 5 and 9. If it happens after day 9, there is a significant risk of the twins being conjoined, primitive streak develops, primary stem villi appear. Gestational age 8 weeks and 0 days until 8 weeks and 6 days old. 5763 days from last menstruation. Embryonic age, week NR7. 6 weeks old. 4349 days from fertilization. From the 10th week of gestation, the developing organism is called a fetus. Changes by weeks of gestation 2. All major structures are already formed in the fetus, but they continue to grow and develop. Since the precursors of all the major organs are created by this time, the fetal period is described both by organ and by a list of changes by weeks of gestational age. Because the precursors of the organs are now formed, the fetus is not as sensitive to damage from environmental exposure as the embryo was. Instead, toxic exposure often causes physiological abnormalities or minor congenital malformation. Weeks 10 to 12. Weeks 13 to 16. Week 21. Each organ has its own development. Gestational age. 9 weeks and 0 days until 11 weeks and 6 days old. Embryonic age, 7 weeks and 0 days until 9 weeks and 6 days old. Gestational age, 12 weeks and 0 days until 15 weeks and 6 days old. Embryonic age, 10 weeks and 0 days until 13 weeks and 6 days old.
Week 23 Gestational age, 20 weeks old Embryonic age, 18 weeks old Gestational age, 22 weeks old Embryonic age, 20 weeks old Gestational age, 24 weeks old Embryonic age, week NR 25 24 weeks old Gestational age, 30 weeks old Embryonic age, week NR 29 28 weeks old Gestational age, 34 weeks old Embryonic age, week NR 33 32 weeks old Week 26 Week 31 Gestational age, 35 and 0 days until 39 weeks and 6 days old Embryonic age, weeks NR 34-38 33-37 weeks old Week 35 The development is continued postnatally with adaptation to extra-uterine life and child development stages Weeks 36-40 Nutrition Growth Rate Factors Influencing Growth Rate Fetal Hematology Erythrocytes Leukocytes Fetal endocrinology The fetus passes through three phases of acquisition of nutrition from mother. Growth rate of fetus is linear up to 37 weeks of gestation, after which it plateaus. The growth rate of an embryo and infant can be reflected as the weight per gestational age and is often given as the weight put in relation to what would be expected by the gestational age. A baby born within the normal range of weight for that gestational age is known as appropriate for gestational age. An abnormally slow growth rate results in the infant being small for gestational age, and, on the other hand, an abnormally large growth rate results in the infant being large for gestational age. A slow growth rate and preterm birth are the two factors that can cause a low birth weight. Low birth weight can ultimately increase the likelihood of schizophrenia by almost four times. The growth rate can be roughly correlated with the fundal height which can be estimated by abdominal palpation. More exact measurements can be performed with obstetric ultrasonography. Intrauterine growth restriction is one of the causes of low birth weight associated with over half of neonatal deaths. Poverty has been linked to poor prenatal care and has been an influence on prenatal development. Women in poverty are more likely to have children at a younger age, which results in low birth weight. Many of these expecting mothers have little education and are therefore less aware of the risks of smoking, drinking alcohol, and drug use other factors that influence the growth rate of a fetus. Women in poverty are more likely to have diseases that are harmful to the fetus. Women between the ages of 16 and 35 have a healthier environment for a fetus than women under 16 or over 35. Women between this age gap are more likely to have fewer complications. Women over 35 are more inclined to have a longer labor period, which could potentially result in death of the mother or fetus. Women under 16 and over 35 have a higher risk of preterm labor, and this risk increases for women in poverty, African Americans, and women who smoke. Young mothers are more likely to engage in high-risk behaviors, such as using alcohol, drugs, or smoking, resulting in negative consequences for the fetus. Premature babies from young mothers are more likely to have neurological defects that will influence their coping capabilities irritability, trouble sleeping, constant crying for example.
there is a risk of Down syndrome for infants born to those aged over 40 years. Young teenaged mothers and mothers over 35 are more exposed to the risks of miscarriages, premature births, and birth defects. 11% of fetuses are exposed to illicit drug use during pregnancy. Maternal drug use occurs when drugs ingested by the pregnant woman are metabolized in the placenta and then transmitted to the fetus. When using drugs, there is a greater risk of birth defects, low birth weight, and a higher rate of death in infants or stillbirths. Drug use will influence extreme irritability, crying, and risk for SIDS once the fetus is born. The chemicals in drugs can cause an addiction in the babies once they are born. Marijuana will slow the fetal growth rate and can result in premature delivery. It can also lead to low birth weight, a shortened gestational period and complications in delivery. Heroin will cause interrupted fetal development, stillbirths, and can lead to numerous birth defects. Heroin can also result in premature delivery, creates a higher risk of miscarriages, result in facial abnormalities and head size, and create gastrointestinal abnormalities in the fetus. There is an increased risk for SIDS, dysfunction in the central nervous system, and neurological dysfunctions including tremors, sleep problems, and seizures. The fetus is also put at a great risk for low birth weight and respiratory problems. Cocaine use results in a smaller brain, which results in learning disabilities for the fetus. Cocaine puts the fetus at a higher risk of being stillborn or premature. Cocaine use also results in low birth weight, damage to the central nervous system, and motor dysfunction. Alcohol use leads to disruptions of the fetus's brain development, interferes with the fetus's cell development and organization, and affects the maturation of the central nervous system. Alcohol use can lead to heart and other major organ defects, such as small brain, which will affect the fetus's learning behaviors. Alcohol use during pregnancy can cause behavioral problems in a child, mental problems, or retardation and facial abnormalities meaning smaller eyes, thin upper lip, and little groove between the nose and lips. Use can also increase the risk of miscarriages and stillbirths, or low birth weight. Fetal alcohol syndrome is a developmental disorder that is a consequence of too much alcohol intake by the mother during pregnancy. Children with FAS have a variety of distinctive facial features, brain abnormalities, and cognitive deficits. When a mother smokes during pregnancy the fetus is exposed to nicotine, tar, and carbon monoxide. Nicotine results in less blood flow to the fetus because it constricts the blood vessels. Carbon monoxide reduces the oxygen flow to the fetus. The reduction of blood and oxygen flow results in stillbirth, low birth weight, and ectopic pregnancy. There is an increase of risk of sudden death syndrome in infants. Nicotine also increases the risk for miscarriages and premature births or infant mortality. There has been a link from smoking during pregnancy that led to asthma in childhood. Low birth weight and premature births can also increase the risk of asthma if a mother smoked during pregnancy because of the effects on the respiratory system of the fetus. If a mother is infected with a disease, the placenta cannot always filter out pathogens. Babies can be born with venereal diseases transmitted by the mother. An adequate nutrition is needed for a healthy fetus. A lack of iron results in anemia in the fetus, the lack of calcium can result in poor bone and teeth formation, and the lack of protein can lead to a smaller fetus and mental retardation. Generally prenatal care gives an improved result in the newborn.
A study found that mothers' prenatal depression was associated with adverse perinatal outcomes such as slower fetal growth rates. It appears that prenatal maternal cortisol levels play a role in mediating these outcomes. Exposure to environmental toxins in pregnancy lead to higher rates of miscarriage, sterility, and birth defects. Toxins include fetal exposure to lead, mercury, and ethanol or hazardous environments. Low birth weight increases an infant's risk of long-term growth and cognitive and language deficits. It also results in a shortened gestational period and can lead to prenatal complications. Fetal hematopoiesis first takes place in the yolk sac. The function is transferred to liver by 10th week of gestation and to spleen and bone marrow beyond that. The total blood volume is about 125 ml slash kg fetal body weight near term. Fetus produces megaloblastic red blood cells early in development, which become normoblastic near term. Lifespan of fetal RBCs is 80 days. Rh antigen appears at about 40 days of gestation. Fetus starts producing leukocytes at 2 months gestation mainly from thymus and spleen. Lymphocytes derived from thymus are called T lymphocytes, whereas the ones derived from bone marrow are called B lymphocytes. Both these populations of lymphocytes have short-lived and long-lived groups. Short-lived T lymphocytes usually reside in thymus, bone marrow, and spleen, whereas long-lived T lymphocytes reside in bloodstream. Plasma cells are derived from B lymphocytes and their life in fetal blood is 0.5 to 2 days. Thyroid gland is the first to develop in fetus at fourth week of gestation. Insulin secretion in fetus starts around twelfth week of gestation. A notochord forms in the center of the embryonic disc, gastrulation commences, a neural groove forms over the notochord with a brain bulge at one end. Neuromers appear, so mites, the divisions of the future vertebra, form, primitive heart tube is forming. Vasculature begins to develop in embryonic disc. The embryo measures 4 mm in length and begins to curve into a C shape, the heart bulges, further develops, and begins to beat in a regular rhythm. Septum primum appears, pharyngeal arches, grooves which will form structures of the face and neck, form, the neural tube closes, the ears begin to form as otic pits, arm buds and a tail are visible, lung bud. The first traits of the lung appear, hepatic plate, the first traits of the liver appear, buchopharyngeal membrane ruptures. This is the future mouth, cystic diverticulum, which will become the gallbladder, and dorsal pancreatic bud, which will become the pancreas appear, urorectal septum begins to form. Thus, the rectal and urinary passageways become separated. Anterior and posterior horns differentiate in the spinal cord, spleen appears, ureteric buds appear. The embryo measures 8 mm in length and weighs about 1 gram, optic vesicles and optic cups form the start of the developing eye, nasal pits form, the brain divides into 5 vesicles, including the early telencephalon. Leg buds form and hands form as flat paddles on the arms. Rudimentary blood moves through primitive vessels connecting to the yolk sac and chorionic membranes. The metanephros, precursor of the definitive kidney, starts to develop. The initial stomach differentiation begins. The embryo measures 13 mm in length. Lungs begin to form. The brain continues to develop. Arms and legs have lengthened with foot and hand areas distinguishable, the hands and feet have digits, but may still be webbed, the gonadal ridge begins to be perceptible, the lymphatic system begins to develop, 
main development of sex organs starts. The embryo measures 18 mm in length, fetal heart tone can be heard using Doppler, nipples and hair follicles begin to form, location of the elbows and toes are visible, spontaneous limb movements may be detected by ultrasound, all essential organs have at least begun, the vitellin duct normally closes. Development of circulatory system, heart development. The fetus reaches a length of about 15 cm, a fine hair called lanugo develops on the head, fetal skin is almost transparent, more muscle tissue and bones have developed, and the bones become harder, the fetus makes active movements, sucking motions are made with the mouth, meconium is made in the intestinal tract. The liver and pancreas produce fluid secretions, from week 13, sex prediction by obstetric ultrasonography is almost 100% accurate, at week 15, main development of external genitalia, is finished. The fetus reaches a length of 20 cm, Lanugo covers the entire body, eyebrows and eyelashes appear. Nails appear on fingers and toes, the fetus is more active with increased muscle development, quickening usually occurs, the fetal heartbeat can be heard with a stethoscope. The fetus reaches a length of 28 cm, the fetus weighs about 500 g, eyebrows and eyelashes are well formed, all of the eye components are developed, the fetus has a hand and startle reflex. Footprints and fingerprints continue forming, alveoli are forming in lungs. The fetus reaches a length of 38 cm, the fetus weighs about 1.2 kg, the brain develops rapidly, the nervous system develops enough to control some body functions, the eyelids open and close, the cochlei are now developed. Though the myelin sheaths and neural portion of the auditory system will continue to develop until 18 months after birth, the respiratory system, while immature, has developed to the point where gas exchange is possible. The fetus reaches a length of about 38-43 cm, the fetus weighs about 1.5 kg, the amount of body fat rapidly increases. Rhythmic breathing movements occur, but lungs are not fully mature. Thalamic brain connections, which mediate sensory input, form. Bones are fully developed, but are still soft and pliable. The fetus begins storing a lot of iron, calcium, and phosphorus. The fetus reaches a length of about 40 48 cm. The fetus weighs about 2.5 to 3 kg. Lanugo begins to disappear, body fat increases, fingernails reach the end of the fingertips, a baby born at 36 weeks has a high chance of survival, but may require medical interventions. The fetus is considered full term at the end of the 39th week of gestational age, it may be 48 to 53 centimeters in length. The lanugo is gone except on the upper arms and shoulders, fingernails extend beyond fingertips, small breast buds are present on both sexes, head hair is now coarse and thickest. <laughs>